Hi there, everyone. I'm JJ Ramberg, and we are getting down to business, a special segment just for our open forum viewers. Divya Gugnani is a serial entrepreneur who just sold her business, Send the Trend, to QVC. And Kimberly Weisel is editor at large at Inc.com and just started her own new company. One thing new. One thing new. I keep wanting to say one new thing. One thing no, new. Don't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> one thing new. Okay, Kimberly, yeah. I'm going to ask, start with you as a journalist and as an entrepreneur. Yeah. What's something everybody needs to know? What something I think a lot of people in fast growth companies need to know is how venture capital works. There have recently been some really good books by VCs. Um, there are great blogs by VCs. A lot of people seem to be under the misconception that they are going to take an outside investment and run the company the same way they already always have. And it changes everything. And VCs are on a strict seven to 10 year time frame. And it is very important to them that they get out at the end of that by hook or by crook. And I think you really have to think about what that means to your company, that you could end up doing something completely different than you set out to do um, if you take that investment in order to have something saleable um, in seven to 10 years at the outside. So that's just something I would really, there are great blogs, there are great books, and would really urge people to look at that with a clear eye. Uh, any particular ones that you would recommend? Um, Brad Feld has a great a great blog. Um, the folks at Flatiron, Fred Wilson, has a great one right here in New York. You can re learn a lot just from those two guys and by following the links. And there's good stuff on Hacker News as well, which is run by Y Combinator. Yeah, Mark Sester, and I don't know yeah. if you've ever read his also. Mm -hmm. yep. I thought his, I think Absolutely. his blog Absolutely. And of course, I would encourage you to read Rory O'Driscoll on Inc.com. <laughs> All right. Of course, it couldn't be more true given the fact that I was a VC. You're seeing today so many young companies get funded. Entrepreneurs are, you know, young, eager, starting their first business, have this huge pre money valuation. They're so excited, and guess what happens? Like, they don't know what they're, they, totally they don't know what they're doing. Ballgame. They're taking money. They have, it's just, you know, they don't realize all the chains that come along with the money, and they're just excited about the pre money value. Um, mm -hmm. My big tip is focus on people. At the end of the day, when I think about all the businesses I've been involved in, regardless when I was a VC and I was on the board or building you know, two companies of my own, actually three, um, I really focused on people. I really was you know, super focused on hiring, hired people for raw intelligence because the job kept changing and so you were not hiring for a particular skill set and a great attitude. And I think building a really strong culture around smart people, that's what makes a good company great. Absolutely. Yeah, particularly because in all of our companies, the jobs are changing all of the time. Everybody has five jobs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Doing okay. the job of five people on the Tell us how you found those people, right? Because a lot of people, they want the A-list, but they're like, I'm a small company, I don't have a lot of money, so... Tons of personal you... relationships, having existing employees who have a great rapport, mm -hmm. like the culture, like the people, um, being messengers for your brand and doing the marketing for you and getting new people in. Um, a lot of the... Our initial talent was really built by personal networks, and we continue to build using right. the same means. And not giving up. It's really easy when you need someone to just say, oh, they're good enough. Never good enough. But they have to be the best. Yeah. Every single person you hire should bring in a skill set that you don't have as the CEO and as the leader um, and add something new to the pot. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks so much, guys.